Hello, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the live environment of Faro by creating a small mini game calling Catch the Ball. I'm using a framework which, which I'm working on now for create this kind of applications. And let's start. Uh, let's start from the workspace. I will create then my demo canvas which I do it by instantiating a demo class and starting it. You can see it. Now, uh, now the white area inside the window is a scene where I have to put all my objects and operate with them. So let's take the scene now. The scene which I currently working. Let's execute this. Now I have my scene instantiated and I can inspect and change some of his values. In this case I don't want a white black background so I will change it for quite the opposite, a black one. So I have a, a good contrast and I can show you better how this works. Let's execute and now we have we have it. So let's create uh, our first object which is a wall where the balls shoot bones. I do that by adding to the framework uh, I adding a triangle a storm not strong triangle shape that I really have. Let's say that it's hard this coordinates. This starts in 0 x and 200 and we'll have an extent of 150 and 80. Let's execute this and there it is. There we have but now again I don't want the white color so let's inspect the element and change his color property for this time let's use orange so it looks like an old monitor. There we have uh, now we need to create a ball that will bounce into the wall and fall over the canvas so we can try to catch them later. Let's create the ball. Again I add an object which in this case is called store ball shape and I have it in that I will put it in position 20 20. Let's execute this. And there it is falling and it doesn't bounce as you can see. But let's resume this by rewinding the scene. As you can see it's not bouncing at all but let's just pause put it there. So to make it bounce we need to increase the elasticity of the wall because right now it's zero and that eh, that makes that nothing nothing can bounce there, nothing can interact eh, how, how we, we want. So let's change the elasticity. Let's put the regular elasticity which is 1.0 and Let's resume the scene and see what happens. And it bounces now, and it's, that's better. So now let's put our basket to catch the ball. So let's create a box. Okay, let's add to the scene an object that I already have, 
which is store container box shape we put it in let's say where I more or less see that the ball falls which is I don't know 450 and 400 and with an extent of 150 completely let's create that uh, and there we have so we can resume the scene and check what happens with the ball and so nothing happened just showing a weird effect that I didn't like it but the important thing that it is not going inside the basket so let's rewind this and try over but now I will pause this the scene here and move the box to my desired position I can move it I don't know 400 and 400 that's okay no it's still not okay let 300 and execute now it's okay if we resume yep it is okay it is catch okay but of course a white ball in a white box is not so let's change some of these properties let's suppose then that uh, let's put now for example a new color red there it is it looks better but I want it a little bit bigger let's put let's say 20 wow and let's resume oh no it is resume no let's uh, rewind uh, the ball to see how it how it uh, goes to the to the box and perfect so now I can do something like this I can take the window of the demo and bind some characters as a shortcut and say that if you press that I will change the box position I will decrease it by will be will be box position minus 8 and 0 in the y axis and let's do the same for the other character but raw but right and increasing this time let's execute this and as you can see now we have the box moving and now let's do something like this let's see that I'm going to throw 10 balls balls uh, I will add them to the scene <coughs> okay I type I just type that and I put them in a position which is a uh, a random position between different places so we can we can be sure that 
uh, the positions of the ball are uh, the fall of the balls follows different paths then we let's take some different rad radius too let's say 15 20 and 25 and 30 and let's put a, a random color a complete random color and of course let's change the elasticity so we are sure that it interacts in different ways let's go to uh, let's do it like, like this from zero side to a uh, 1.5 stepping by 0 0.2 and that that it's at random and that's it but now it will they will follow all at the same time so let's put a delay I want one each two seconds for example and wait and let's put this to run in background so I can still interact ouch so I can still interact with, with my program after this uh, let's execute it I'm sorry for this it's an honest mistake and there it is and we can try to catch our balls Whoop. catch one, whoops, one escape, the other escape two uh, escape, uh, you can see I suck at this but the overall game is working quite well and whoops wow that's an incredible cool that's a huge bounce and there it is that's all what i wanted to show as you can see you can interact in life and in a very cool way uh, and you can do obviously better things that i'm doing with this which is a small and simple example without a lot of talent thank you very much